All right, greetings everyone. This is Eric, uh, founder and CEO of Cubicle Investing. Definitely visit the website at cubicleinvesting.com and there you can download my free ebook. And if you do download my free ebook, you will be put into my email distribution where you will start receiving my weekly newsletter that comes out every Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time where I talk about, you know, finance, economics, um, also give uh, stock market recommendations, stock investing recommendations, and also from time to time I give uh, crypto recommendations. Uh, so I'm a big, I'm a big uh, cryptocurrency investor, have been since 2016. All right, so today is November the 7th, uh, it's Monday. I'm gonna make this quick video. We got, uh, let me pull up my point in here. We got, uh, so we got, so it's 3.54. So obviously the market's about to close in the next five or six minutes. I put on this uh, position here, this uh, vertical put credit spread where I sold the 37.40 and I bought the 37.35. And the reason why I went on the put side um, in this particular uh, trading account is because uh, around lunchtime, around you know 11, 30, 12 o'clock, uh, the price of SPX was holding steady around the 337.75, price point. And it was holding steady there for quite some time. So to me, that conveyed that that particular price point or that, or that particular price area was a major area of support. And so I decided that it would, it would make sense to go on the uh, on the put side, right? Because the put side benefits from the price of the underlying trading sideways or actually going up in value. So that's what I did. As you can see, uh, eventually the price of SPX, which is the underlying that I'm looking at, um, started to uh, increase in value as the afternoon uh, progressed. Now what you see here is a is the um, is a vertical call credit spread, but I don't have a vertical call credit spread on in this particular account. But uh, however, I do monitor the um, the price, the movement of the underlying by looking at this particular account. So this represents the the position I have on in my Think or Swim account. So I actually have on an Iron Condor in my Think or Swim account. And so as you can see here, here are the positions. So I'm at 30, 38, 20 and 38, 25 on the call side. And on the put side, I'm at 37, 25 and 37, 20. So the credit that I took in for this particular uh, position was $260. So as you can see here, I've made the entire $260 in this particular account. Uh, the, the credit that I took in for, for this one uh, vertical put credit spread was 140. All right, so as you can see here, I made the $140 as well um, in this particular trading account. So again, I had this on just so I can monitor uh, the position that I have on in my Think of Swim account. And as you can see here, the price of the underline actually got kind of got kind of close to my vertical call credit spread that's part of the iron condor in my in my think or swim account. So it was a little close, you know, but I but I figured that, you know, considering that the uh, the price of the underlying started to uh, make an uptrend, make a move to the upside rather late in the afternoon, I felt rather comfortable that uh, my my short strike of 3820 would actually hold up. And also it's right above the, the expected move. So the expected move today was, let me just look at my, my spreadsheet here. So, so the expected move today was plus or minus 43, right? So the previous uh, day's uh, closing price was 37.70. And so the upside expected move today uh, was 38.13. So uh, having that information in mind, I figured, you know, 3813, I'm at 3820. So I'm slightly beyond the expected move to the upside. So, you know, um, the odds I figured were in my favor if I went above that expected move. And so as you can see here, it, um, it worked out. 
we have roughly two minutes before the market closes. So, uh, so 140. Again, I'm on a winning streak here. I haven't lost um, selling these uh, these vertical spreads um, on the SPX, looking at uh, zero days to expiration. So basically, selling um, day trading the SPX over the last you know two two and a half months. Um, you know, it's I've been on a winning streak. I've lost a couple times, but for the most part, um, I've won at least 95 percent of my trades. And I'll talk about that in a different video to show you the uh, the win rate thus far. But nevertheless, yeah, so things have been going well. Uh, again, you know, uh, definitely visit my website at cubicleinvesting.com, download the free ebook. And uh, yeah, man, this, you know, learning how to trade options is a great way to add a, an additional stream of income um, to whatever you're already doing. So definitely, um, you know, it's definitely a invaluable skill set to acquire. And again, you know, I have a, uh, a free ebook that you can download. And I also teach this as well. So, you know, keep that in mind if you're looking to learn how to trade options.